Using tangents to calculate the rate of reaction can be tricky to get your head around in the beginning, but by the time you've watched this video, you're going to be a pro at this. So stay with me, I'm gonna break it down and simplify it with a worked example. So using tangents to calculate the rate of reaction. This is something my students have found tricky in the past, but my goal here is to make it simple for you today. So if we take a graph here, we can see we've got volume of product produced, and that's in centimeters cubed. So that's our y-axis. That's our dependent variable that we're measuring. Now on the x-axis, we've got our time. Using a tangent, we can determine the rate at a specific point. So if I choose this point here, what we can do is pick that point and draw a straight line that just touches. And we call this the tangent. So here's a tangent. Now we could do that on other points of the graph. And you can see here that the initial line is steeper than the second line, which is more horizontal. So we can think that the rate of reaction is probably higher in the first one, but using our tangent, we can mathematically calculate this. Now the first line is steeper than the second, indicating a faster rate of reaction at the beginning of the experiment. Now I've added in some scales. So what do we do if we want to calculate the initial rate of reaction? Well, step one is to draw your tangent line from zero and make sure it hits the curve at zero. So it's going to look like this. And I've made sure that my tangent line is just touching the curve here. And the initial rate of reaction is very steep. So our line is angled very close to vertical. Now, step two is to pick two points on the tangent line and draw a triangle. So I'm going to take this point here and go along the x-axis to the bottom there. So this is our triangle here. That's our tangent. Now I'm going to calculate the change in y divided by the change in x. So y over x. So in this case, y, we go from zero at the bottom here all the way up if we go across to 30. Now remember, mine's just an example. So you'd obviously use a pencil and ruler in the, in the exam. So zero to 30. So our change is 30 centimeters cubed because we use the unit of the y-axis. Now our x is from zero to five minutes because we've gone from zero here across to five minutes. That's about halfway between. Okay, step four. So the initial reaction is then going to be the change in y divided by x, which is 30 divided by five, which gives us six centimeters cubed, six centimeters cubed. And I took that centimeters cubed from the y-axis per minute. And I took the minute from the x-axis. And you've got to use the units you're given. Now, what do we do if we want to calculate the rate of reaction at any point by drawing a tangent and calculating it? Well, step one is to draw your tangent so it just touches the curve like I mentioned before. So let's take this point here. Step two is to pick two points on the tangent line and draw a triangle. So here's my triangle. Next, we're going to calculate the change in y and divide that by x. So I've got my change in y, which is 16 to 32. So if we go across here, we've got around 16 there, all the way up to 32 there, okay? And you can just take your ruler in the exam and draw across. Obviously, I'm just doing it rough with my pen just to show you how to do it. And you can look and you can see the change in Y. Remember, it's changing Y. It's not Y. We're not doing 32. We're doing 16 to 32. And the difference between these two points is 16 centimeters cubed. Okay. So 16 centimeters cubed. So the change in Y is going to be divided by the change in X. Well, X goes from here, which I've just put as 13 is my example. So 13 there, okay. And then it goes up to here, which I've just said 48 in my example. So 48 there, the difference between 13 and 48 is 35. So our equation will be 16 divided by 35. And that's going to give us 0 0.46 centimeters cubed per minute. And again, just a refresher, I've taken my centimeters cubed from the y-axis and my minutes from the x-axis. So that was it, short and sweet, but a really important 
mathematical skill for you guys to get top marks in the exam. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.